Hey everybody, this is Perch, and this is more of a quick video, not uh, a ton of information to convey, but it opens up a couple questions. And I think there's been a lot of conversation around where's Jeff Johns going? He has his own series uh, coming out, this own creator-owned book with Gary Frank Geiger, along with his uh, longtime collaborator, uh, Gary Frank. And there's been a lot of thought. Is is he fleeing DC? Is he abandoning ship? Is is DC going down? Is that why Jeff Johns is getting out of out of town? But how much sense did that make, really? Given that Jeff Johns, uh, following kind of rebirth, and then he did the Shazam book, and he did uh, Doomsday Clock, and and uh, but most of his time has been spent uh, in other areas at Warner Media doing some of this other work. And I think the big question that I, I mean, I, I feel like people have been asking now for four to five years is how involved is Jeff Johns really in DC, the comics company at all? He, uh, how how much does he really do there? He's he's not, you know, really one of the core management chain there anymore. He's got titles that that more or less refer to DC, but his time seems to be spent in the media and and in the you know production of shows and and other pieces which a lot of people comment of uh, he's risen up, up and out. Um, so he still has some influence, but how much influence? And it's just not entirely sure. And then I think you you combine all that with like the longstanding uh, kind of back and forth between himself and Dan Didio. And then what's his relationship with Jim Lee and how does he fit to all this? So so the Jeff Johns factor seems uh, it has been weird for a while. This isn't a new thing. And weird is it, it's it's like putting too much emotion to it. It's just it's just it's it's distant. I would say it's distant. So let me give a couple more bits of information. And I'll just lay out what I think. Uh, but here's the data. The data is that we are getting uh, Batman Earth One Volume Three from Jeff Johns and Gary Frank, and it's coming out in June of 2021. So uh, this this obviously follows the first two volumes, and the way it's at least written and highlighted, it does not feel like it's closing the door on the Batman Earth One series. In fact, it feels at least somewhat reasonable that there could be a volume four and a volume five and, and they could keep going with this. Don't know if they will, but it looks like at least the door is open to continue this series. And I think DC kind of with their, what they've announced with their continuity and kind of how the graphic novels and other things have gone, I think that they're probably fairly happy with the performance of the Earth One line and what uh, what Johns and Frank have done. So, I, you know, is this the end? It doesn't seem like it has to be. Um, nobody really knows. So a couple thoughts on all this. Uh, first off, I, I just find it a little bit intriguing, uh, I guess, that 2020, where DC is concerned, is going to end with Jeff Johns being one of their top selling creators with three Jokers. Yeah, we don't know where it will sit and we won't know for some time because the graphic novels, I mean, Death Metal is, is of course, their big build event. It's got a lot more comics to it, but we don't know how well it will do in, in trade sales. We imagine it will do fairly well, but um, we don't know. Uh, three Jokers is was a, a three-part series that seemed built for trade in a lot of cases, and they're definitely they're they're putting out that book you know now, <laughs> so they can start making this holiday money on it, and and so Gary uh, you know so Jeff Johns is going to have a a at least a claim that in 2020 he delivered you know one of the top selling books in 2021. It's a much more convoluted picture because DC is going to be launching a bunch of new series and there'll be a big push in March and, and they're they're going to have a lot of noise there around uh, what what to do with the, the, the comic, uh, with, with their line. But it feels at least like a safe bet that the original graphic novel, um, Batman Earth 1 Volume 3, will probably wind up being one of the strongest sellers in 2021. It feels at least reasonable that it will be. And when I say strongest sellers, I mean in that graphic novel category, in that made for shops and and, uh, and bookstores and other sellers. It feels like he's setting himself once again up to be to at least some have some claim of being one of the strongest selling writers at the company. It's it's way too early. I mean, we're, I'm making predictions now for next year, but it is it is a big name. And so you put all this now. I guess one more piece of data is that Jeff Johns said that the work uh, he and Gary Frank actually finished sometime late summer 
uh, of this year, this book. So it's it's actually been in the tank, so to speak, for for a while. Um, they said they they finished this volume in well, he said in June, uh, but it was unclear. It felt like maybe a little bit later now. But anyway, it felt it, it, so. What's going on with Jeff Johns? I, I, you know, my opinion, having looking at all this and seeing the different pieces of data and, and seeing what's coming out and where, I continue to believe that Jeff Johns isn't done with DC, uh, but I don't think he's more involved with DC. So if you think about Jeff Johns in 2019 and kind of how he's been the last several years where he's been distant and then coming in to do occasional projects and those projects that he does, uh, are you know high profile signature projects. So he doesn't do a lot of them, but when he does, their their build is being a big deal. It feels like that's going to continue. I, I'd be really surprised if that is somehow different in 2021 and 2022. With everything that AT&T is trying to do with HBO Max and Wonder Woman now being a, a launch product on that platform and more series that they're they're putting in play with Green Lantern and all the other things they have intended for that platform, it feels like Jeff Johns has got plenty to do and not just plenty to do, plenty of you know room to go up further and further in the company and, and make more accomplishments and make more money. So I don't believe that he's going to jump ship and leave DC and strike out on his own. It would be a big pay cut for him. Uh, even with, let's say that Geiger here with Image does incredibly well, it's hard to believe it will do as well as what he's going to make off of his studio job. I just, I, anything could happen, but just that, that's, you got to figure his salary is, is really high at, at what he's doing right now. And so, you know, that only leaves the question of why in the world then would he back off and, and do something with image at all if he has these other things going on. And, and as I speculated before, it really just feels like he's trying to establish that he can bring these comics to light. It, maybe Geiger doesn't really fit with the DC and kind of what it's going to do. Maybe this was a project uh, he and Gary Frank were thinking about taking to some level of, you know, what, whatever vertigo or black label could have been where they had some more ownership, maybe it doesn't fit. Uh, regardless, I think He's, he's giving an indication he's in command of his own destiny to some extent of, of what he can do. And, and so it, it just, I, I don't, I, I, nothing in all this indicates that Jeff Johns is done and leaving DC and in his project coming out with Gary Frank, this Batman earth one volume three, um, it, it, again, it just, it, it just feels like he's lining up to do a signature project once a year with the company. But the majority of his time and energy is going to be spent on his studio work. And that's that's really what it feels like. So kind of a boring outcome or an outcome we already knew. That's what this all feels like. So what do you think? You know, do you think is, there's been a lot of speculation about where he's going and what he's doing, but this is kind of how it feels to me. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Like, subscribe, click the bell for notifications. It's um, It's easy with these kinds of things to look somewhat narrowly at what's going on in the industry right now, as opposed to kind of what's happened over the last five years. And John's has had this, in fact, it's, it's funny just in looking online, I could see all these articles and speculation of people dating back to 2016 of people saying that Jeff Johns is leaving the company. He's clearly on the way out. They're making a mat. But I think all that is through the lens of the comic business as opposed to what he's doing in the studio business. And I think you know, there's there's plenty of, he has plenty of influence and plenty of work he's doing over in that studio business. And so, you know, his lack of heavy participation with the comics is maybe not a surprise if he's doing this other stuff. I, that That's what it feels like to me. I think that, I mean, I just, I would be surprised if he was willing, because he's, again, he's not walking away from DC He'd be walking away from DC and Warner Media and all the things he's built up on the studio side to then go do a independent creator owned comic. And I, I don't know, that would be a strange choice. Um, th that would be a choice of somebody maybe who has enough money and is confident and satisfied in their life and they're just going to do their own thing and they don't care that that could be. But it just it, it doesn't all plug together. Um, very well. So that's my opinion. Anyway, you might have a different one and I'd like to hear it. So leave a comment below. Let me know your thoughts on the matter. Otherwise, like, subscribe, click the bell for notifications. Most importantly, and as always, thanks for listening.